it's time for another vlog so after a period of cold weather we've now got the usual back to the rain normal Wales weather so that's why I got the rainy background today okay so let's what we'll kick off with um yeah back to the start trying to get a prescription from the doctor oh it was a nightmare standard prescription you can get this whenever you like okay orders it okay you need a medical review what how can i get a medical review now i'm back in work and uh, in the end they apologized and i got the tablets on time but uh, yeah what a what a nightmare they gotta have a better system than this it's a nightmare every time i want to get prescriptions for me or the family it's ooh. okay good on the nhs <laughs> no criticisms there but they've really got to have a better system at that doctors and the chemist okay good news I decided to splash out and purchase a mister which I built who upside down see mister it's an FPGA device as I mentioned uh, before I've done a stream and created the video for it and it's um, I had a dual camera setup during the stream I had do it there during the scream during the stream I had uh, set it up with dual cameras and um, I actually did a bit of a cock up with it um, with the setting up because card goes in there but I actually put the card in that slot up there so nothing was being recognized because uh, it was using the wrong card to set up I'd already set up the card sorted that out everything went smooth the case came with two of that side and none of that side so I told the supplier and they just sent another side out easy and also there's a power splitter that you need to split between USB and the main board well on day one I lost it so then I was looking for alternative solutions while I waited for others so I ordered something off Amazon which is this little beauty with five beads on well because I knew it was going to take longer for the um, official one to come that's probably two-way splitter uh, the one that arrived didn't work at all so Amazon sent another one out the proper one arrived before that uh, I was using an alternative solution which was hit and miss and then I was reinstalling changing a hard drive over on my computer and was behind the computer all the time <laughs> <laughs> oh dear now I've been doing a lot of playing with the mister and it's a fantastic little device not cheap but it's far better than the Raspberry Pi or the emulation version um, it's just so quick and easy to use once it's set up setting it up isn't rocket science it's a little more complex in some ways I think but uh, yeah it's so much better okay uh, went back to work after all that lot and uh, yeah back to work mm, shifts are back to reasonable so I'm not knackered all the time yeah and as I mentioned about the failing hard drive I started noticing it when I was playing steam and every time I your yeah, steam would stop and I'd noticed that the drive had been remounted as read-only rebooting it would went into rescue mode on the computer because it couldn't sort out the hard drive he wanted to manual repair it and there were errors popping up all over the place so I moved the steam to a different partition same thing had happened so I decided to buy a new hard drive now ordered it from Amazon on Prime delivery by uh, what was it Monday so it comes to Monday and it says okay it's going to be delivered by next Monday now and if you looked on the site it was still promising delivery by two days time it was coming from Europe somewhere in Europe Belgium I think so there was no chance of it getting here on that time so why are they advertising it as available for that time bloody daft oh anyway something else happened in work um, due to a miscommunication between our work when the franchise was taken over by Transport for Wales which is basically government government run now and the tax office a lot of our drivers got notifications that they were no longer employed well that's news to us I wasn't one of them but demands from the tax office you owe us 2,000 quid we need to pay within 28 days now okay our situation was resolved 
because nobody was unemployed. But imagine if that was happened to somebody, especially in this crisis, somebody just suddenly losing their job, don't know what they're going to do, and then all of a sudden faced with a tax bill of 2,000 quid to be paid within a month. Suicide rate, anybody? Come on, tax office, you can do better than this. Fuck's sake, you can... There's a human side to this, and all you are is a money-grabbing load of... Oh, I expect you would have capitulated with a bit of communication, but there's no need for that. Okay, we can see you're in trouble. Please contact us with payment methods. It's simple. I mean, you're a government, for God's sake. You can afford it. You're using old money anyway. Okay, now, PS5s again. Drops come down. Some drops come at three in the morning. Asda, uh, Asda. Argos, you are just inviting bots. I was taking part. I was alive, awake at the computer for a game drop. I was on within seconds, and within seconds it said, you're in an hour-long queue, plus. After about 50 minutes, that queue disappeared to nothing. All out of stock. So yeah, bots win again. There is no way that many real, genuine people got in before me. No way whatsoever. Bots win again. We get one eventually, but God knows when. Okay, so yeah, and as I say, new hard drive was fitted, and I... Did plan on streaming Thursday, but with all the copying of several gigabytes of data, probably over a terabyte of data, it wasn't ready in time. So I put that off until yesterday. And yeah, it's all fitted now, working perfectly. It was a bit touch and go to start with. I didn't know what was happening. Probably just a connection issue. But yeah, a new hard drive, te two terabytes. Now what to do with the old one is GPT. So the current version of Spinrite can handle it. I might hold on to it until the next version of Spinrite is released and um, run it through that. Or I might just send it back to Amazon for a replacement of another two terabyte hard drive. We shall see how that goes. Finally, two problems I've been having that I've been chasing up. Utilita. Now, itchy knows. on the 31st of January, I topped up. I don't know. I still don't know why. I want to go to direct debit. But yeah. We shall see on that as well. Oh, itchy nose, itchy nose. Real, real life sagas, real life troubles. So, thirty pound on the gas top up failed. No word of it. The money came out of the bank. It's taken me until basically two days ago to get the money back. We're chasing up. Oh, you got to wait ten days working days. Oh, you got to wait fourteen more working days on that list, and then again, then repeating, then sending off bank statements twice, three times because it's not up to date. Finally, they couldn't get it over to my bank. I said, "Don't forget the bank bit. Forget trying to get it in my bank. You're just not going to do it." I had to raise a complaint to get this sorted out. I've dropped the complaint now, but it worked. It worked. Raising the complaint worked. I got the money back on my gas account. So yeah, I said, "Just put it on my gas. If you put it on my gas, I'll drop the complaint." I, they put it on my gas, I dropped the complaint. And the post office. A delivery came, you need to put extra postage on this. So I put the extra postage on it. No delivery. Contacted them. Oh, there's been some sort of problem. But book a re-delivery. Booked a re-delivery, nothing happened. Chased it up, chased it up, chased it up. Seems they've gotten a number on the re-delivery form. It's got, and then yet they didn't know whether to deliver to the original or the rest. <laughs> they did not know, keep the bloopers in, whether to deliver to the original address. Well, duh. If I don't request a different address, don't deliver it to a different address. Just deliver it to me. That is now due today. It's a heat sink and some standoffs for the mister. So what they got to do? Why they got to hold on to that? I got no idea. Duh. Hopefully solved. Hopefully delivered today. Oh dear. Anyway, I think that's enough rambling from me today. Just to say the fucking phone going. No! Okay, I'll cut this bit off. Is this a spammer? Is this? Yeah. Hi, this is a call from Amazon. Shall I leave that in, including the bad language? This is a call from Amazon. A robotic call. Robotic call. Yes, I'm going to leave that in, including the language. It's not for kids anyway. That was just a realistic... <laughs> yeah, enough rambling from me. Okay, thank you all for putting up with this. <clears throat> I hope you enjoy listening, watching, 
whatever. There'll be another one in three weeks' time anyway. Thank you, and catch you on the next one. Serrano.